third date on Valentine's Day and today is the fourth. Gave me these flowers and that very cute Valentine's Day gift from my last TikTok. And I've gone from feeling like euphoric and unable to move with overwhelm of feelings one day to I'm um, super angry, full of rage and I can't do this. Physical aspect, the chemistry is so important and I, I can't pretend that that's not. And I feel like being sensitive to men's needs means like you have to pretend that you've had very clear communication, spoken about everything. So I'll see how it goes today. I think I should just date and just see how things go and not try and make everything so definitive. Like I don't have to like only date this guy. Dating old comes with dating old problems. But I see these people trying to deal with these situations as if they were still 25. But I can understand where the thinking comes from because I saw her trying to respond to one of the questions asked in the comments and her response had absolutely nothing to do with what was asked, which kind of shows an element of the thinking process. My takeaway is that I should probably date multiple people and not put all my eggs in one basket to avoid the frustration that comes up with expecting a lot of things from one person. I made this account as a therapeutic video journal so I don't know if I can actually handle all the male rage when I wake up in the morning. It's literally who I didn't want to be on my account. Clearly the entire point that I was trying to make was lost. Maybe I'm the one in the wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments down below. But I would say that you are the one who's lost on the meaning of a simple question. Feminism. I'm sick of the feminist misandry on this app. Y'all claim to hate men and want to be independent bitches until there's a military draft. Or a spider. Or an unopened water bottle. So if I'm honest, I think I'm beginning to question how much I want. So if you find yourself in the same position where you're constantly wishing for a relationship, chasing after unavailable people, but then as soon as somebody who's available is interested in you, you start to panic, I used to be the exact same way. What's important to realize is that this has to do with your attachment style. This is why we oftentimes feel chemistry with unhealthy people or we feel sparks with people that don't want relationships, don't want what we want or want what we want. But then when we, you know, have somebody nice and who's available, who likes us in front of us, we feel nothing. This is really the pattern I had to overcome when I finally got sick of it. I was so sick of constantly going after all these people that didn't want me back. I had to realize that I was the problem, that I was the one who kept going after these people. And there were plenty of nice people healthy people that had been interested in me that I had run from. So if you're in the same boat, I have a workbook for you called Attract Commitment as built-in activities to help you overcome these challenges. I doubt this actually requires a workbook. I'd say just simply put aside the delusions and pay attention to the people around you, those ones that you've placed in the friend zone. Because that would most likely be a perfect fit. To be able to rise four figures, no, like they just need to have, I feel like if I can't date someone who's unemployed personally, yeah, if, you, exactly. if you're not employed, if unemployed. You're unemployed, unemployed or you don't have like a side hustle that's making you bread, you don't have that. You know, guys, how are you 17, 18, 19 living off your mum still? Bro, just be real, I'm a busy girl. I volunteer for the NHS. I work a lot. I do a lot of things. I do social media. I'm a busy girl. I want my man to be as busy as me because when I'm busy doing all my things and he's just there free, What's he doing? Is he cheating on me? Like, I'm gonna be insecure. So I want a man who's got the same, you know, schedule type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like no one's getting my point. Everyone just wants to be a bum. Everyone wants to just be, oh, learn school, school, school. Let's stop using age as an excuse because people can do it all. I don't believe any of my viewers need me to explain how very unintouch this one is with reality. And I'm sure we can all agree it will catch up very soon. One thing we underestimate about men, I'll go first. His mental health and the severity of it, when we get into a relationship with him, we question why he's emotionally unavailable. And that's because we were not patient enough in getting to know him and for him to feel safe enough to share his past traumas. I stay by myself. I'm independent. I don't need no man. I ain't nobody finna be talking. All right, so I listened to the video for Plaz. Like, my brother Plaz, I always got something good to say, but I agree with everything he's saying in that video. But let me explain to you probably, maybe, potentially, why his mama is saying it and why other women independent women feel this way like for me i've always been those one of the type of people that want to work with a group of people you know let's build let's let's do the thing let's have something let's create wealth let's let's strive for excellence right but when i tell you you get tired of waiting on people you get tired of listening to the lies the excuses you get tired of trying to um make things work that just ain't gonna work you get tired of people trying to sabotage you because they jealous of you you get tired of like all of this stuff right that once you finally break away from it 
there's a period in which you become independent so you start doing this stuff by yourself right before we go any further i'd say she's already wrong why because the kind of independence that she's talking of is very different from a relationship type independence and what she's explaining happens to everyone that's life sometimes opportunities come along sometimes they don't but either way when you start to do it yourself and when you're doing it yourself, you realize how much peace you get. You realize how many people you don't have to answer to, how many people you don't have to tell what you're doing, how many people you don't have to worry about sabotaging you, how many people you don't have to deal with their BS. When women say, yes, I'm an independent woman. When women say, yes, I don't want to ask no man for nothing. When a woman say, no, nah, I ain't finna ask my friends for nothing. No, nah, I'm going to do it myself. You ain't got to do it. You ain't got time. Are oh, you trying to play with me? Cool. Don't worry about it. I got it. And like, we know we got it. But it's just like this time around, we know we don't have to deal with your mess. Independent and alone. If that's how you want it, I don't understand why you keep coming back and then complaining and complaining and complaining about it. Stay independent and stay alone. Problem solved. You know what I mean? Sometimes, like, ideally, it sounds easier. Yeah, we should work with somebody, build with somebody, have something with somebody. But when I tell you the peace and the progression you get when you just say, F this, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> I already knew I could do it myself. I just thought it would be better on both of us if we worked together. But everybody don't feel that way. Because, see, everybody got insecurities. People be trying to sabotage you just because they feel like you got more than them. And truth is, you got the same thing or maybe you less than them. And it's like, you trying to sabotage my progression because you mad. Have you ever dated somebody like that? Have you ever been related to somebody like that? Have you, like, do you understand how peaceful it is to just do it yourself? And sadly, like, that's the part that I feel like a lot of men do not understand. It's not that we don't want your help. It's not that we don't want to be submissive to you. It's not that we don't want to give you a chance. We just know what we've been through, and we just don't want to go through it again. And you want us to be the ones to come in and deal with shit that you've been through. You're supposed to deal with that yourself before you come to us. We don't want to have a reason to hate somebody else. We don't have a want to have a reason to not want to be around somebody else. We don't want to have another disappointment attached to the same thing that has disappointed us before. So we just do it ourselves. That's it. But then there's already a problem because naturally after you've done it alone, you don't want to be alone for the rest of your life. And so what do you do? You then go and eventually look for a man, but you're bringing all that mentality and baggage and you're attaching it to him and you're attaching it to every other man in existence as if they are the ones who did whatever you went through to you. In there, I realized that actually this is serious stuff. Yeah. And I wasn't in the right headspace. And when I got there, I just felt, nah, this is not for me. Feminism mm -hmm. is like becoming this thing right now that is like, <laughs> fuck men. Mm -hmm. And like, that's, that's not, not feminism. That, no. Uh, I've met I so no like problem with that. Fuck me. Like it's been funny because there's like guys that I'm like friends with or whatever that watch that have hit me up off the internet and things and like, oh like yeah, you're such a feminist. And I'm like, just so we're clear, feminism to me is just equality. Mm -hmm. It's not negative. For me, building up women doesn't mean tearing down men. Fun piece of trivia for all my single ladies over thirty. If you've been calling yourself a spinster, stop. It's actually just inaccurate. My friends and I discovered this when we were talking the other day. Fun enough, the term spinster actually only applies to women aged 23 to 26. Cute. And if you're older than that, that actually means you're a thornback. A thornback. What is a thornback, you might ask? This. This is a thornback. <laughs> This is what you become when you're single over 30. Honestly, I can't even be mad that fish looks so unbothered. It feels like the right energy to channel for your 30s. Where are my other thornbacks at? I think we need to get a group together and make sweatshirts. I no longer want to be an independent woman. Here's why. I've gone through the struggle of doing everything for myself because I can do everything for myself, but I don't want to have to. In my life, I've seen so many women grow older and just not be treated like queens or like the precious objects that they are. They're surrounded by men and they're like the leader, the person who does it all, who has to lift everything heavy. Like, no, I'm not doing that. For example, tonight in my apartment complex, I go to pick up a package. There's an older woman and her grandson that live here. She is his primary caretaker and I see him around all the time. Like we've gotten well acquainted. 
but as I'm picking up my package, I see that they're getting their groceries delivered. Okay, cool, no big deal, but they live in a far building. And then this poor little old woman at 8 p.m. with her little teeny tiny grandson is outside trying to carry these groceries in. And they're not simple groceries, they're like cases of water, like multiple cases of water and soda. And she's like struggling to get this, like these cases of water onto the thing. And if you live in an apartment, you already know how difficult it is to carry your groceries up, but then adding on a child with that too, like it's difficult. I'm a single mom, so like I can completely understand the struggle but then i can't even imagine adding on to the fact that i'm an older person trying to do this so anyway i end up saying to my daughter like okay let's help so and so get their groceries in their house because like his grandma shouldn't have to be carrying this stuff and it's wet and slippery like let's just help them because we can as we're carrying in the groceries with them all of a sudden these men appear and at first i'm thinking they're just like other neighbors who live here i just haven't seen because they live in a different building but they start talking to the little boy and he's like talking to them like calling them uncle and stuff they don't have a grocery in their hand. They literally are walking by me and my daughter and the little boy carrying these groceries in. The one man that's behind us has like two gift bags and there's still a plethora of groceries and he lets us like put, the, put down the groceries we have, go get the other ones while he still just follows in empty handed. Meanwhile, we finally get into the apartment lobby and like I'm giving her her groceries, helping her load them onto her cart. And I was just like, yeah, I just didn't wanna see you struggle. Like, you know, whatever. The part that really pissed me off the most was the fact that like we put it on the car and she is still the one when there are two older men in there that can take this heavy cart from her she is still the one that like brings it down and like rolls it into the elevator that's the part that made me mad that's the part that irritates me because i just can't i do think that women play a part in this of like not letting men do things for you or like just like sucking up your pride and like we have this whole independent thing especially in black women and i think that's the other part that like irks me is like she was a black woman like an elderly black woman and it's just like i feel like in our society like black women have to like carry the weight and whatever and it's just frustrating and i just like don't want my daughter to see that i don't want to be that kind of woman i am a damsel in distress i'm asking for help and coming from a person who is like super hyper independent like uh they should have helped and we can only speculate as to why they didn't but one thing i can say for sure is if people keep saying i'm independent i'm independent a lot more people are going to be coming into situations like this situations where men will walk right by you and not even attempt to help yeah don't how do you get that life go in the house and get a food well, donor you don't need a man you still need a man you need a physical woman to bear a child for you and y'all need i y'all need a physical sperm. sperm where does it come from from a man if a, if a physical man didn't Listen. go to that hospital it yeah, would not yeah. be there <laughs> you guys don't carry kids for nine months we do i carry them my whole life what the hell kids is here the whole life y'all can't have a baby without sperm women like you always try to eliminate men and that's where I the issue is. Eliminate. You just said you don't need a man. We want you. There's a difference. <laughs> need and want is a different thing. I don't need a man. You don't want him. You want the potion. You want the potion yeah. that lives inside.